Russia warns U.S. to turn back warships heading to the Black Sea. This is our topic, a topic report. U.S., Russia, Ukraine tensions. This is from mirror.co.uk. U.S. warships heading to Black Sea warned to turn away for their own good. And Chris Hughes excerpt here. Chris Hughes is the author here. Fear, fears of an all-out war in East Ukraine ramped up yesterday after Russia warned America to stay away from the region for their own good. Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rabyov made his aggressive demand as two U.S. destroyers raced towards the flagship or the flashpoint region. There's not going to be an all-out war between the United States and Russia because of their weapons. Just remember that. Russia concerned over emergence of Turkish combat drones. And there they are. There's the drones. Whenever you see the drones. When you see drones appear in which which you have the interest of multiple powers involved outside of that region, there's a good chance that you're going to see some degree of conflict because these nation states constantly use the, the blood of others to test their little toys. So this... If you start to see combat drones, yeah, you're going to have some issues. So the Turkish, the Turks are putting combat drones. I mean, I don't know if they're going to get their S-400s. That's uh, mil, uh, mi air, air defense missile system that the Turks purchased from Russia. But let's see if they, if they actually get it. From Defense Blog, Dylan Mayosa says, The Kremlin said on Tuesday that it, it dismayed over... I guess that it is dismayed over Turkish made Bay Bay Raktor TB2 drone systems in the in the Donbass region of Ukraine. Obviously, there can hardly be anything to rejoice about given that Turkish drones as the story goes are surfacing somewhere in Donbass. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said, "You won't see well, there may very well be Russian troops doing things, but not openly. You'll see You'll see Russian separatists and you'll see Ukrainian loyalists that will fight the proxy war on behalf of, on one side, the United States and whatever, and on the other side, Turkey and, well, the United States and maybe Turkey and on the other side, Russia and, and whoever. So it'll be a proxy war, another proxy war, and they'll be able to test their new toys on the, on the blood of... Uh, people that don't live under their lands it's preferable that way because you get less direct protest that way less 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 political fallout in your own lands when you test your toys using the blood of others and not your own citizens <laughs> russia says troop buildup near ukraine is a response to nato from washington post speaking at a meeting with the top military brass Sho 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 Shoigu, Shoigu said the ongoing exercise was a response to what he claimed were continuous efforts by the United States and its NATO allies to beef up their forces near Russia's borders. NATO chief criticizes Russian military buildup. This is from the New York Times. Let's see. NATO chief criticizes... Uh, you're just going to repeat, repeat that again. Okay, here we go. And you repeat, repeat it again. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here is the actual person. Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General, expressed concerns over Russia's increased military presence along the border with Ukraine, calling it unexplained and unjustified. Russia's considerable military buildup is unjustified, unexplained, and dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to click on it. You get the idea. I don't think you can see anymore. Biden tells Putin to stand down in Ukraine during a dramatic phone call after Russia told U.S. to keep away for their own good. Did Biden do that? He managed that? That's good for him. They must be getting him some good drugs because I've seen him and he looks a little bit more cognizant than usual, which I, I guess is good, I guess. From the uh, Sun UK, Joe Biden has told Vladimir Putin to stand down in Ukraine hours after Russia told the U.S. to keep away for their own good. And you see the story up here. We are warships told to turn away for their own good. I mean, Russia's not going to bomb the, the warships, and the warships aren't going to bomb the Russians. That's just what the what the warships will do is use whatever technology, whatever they can, to aid the Ukrainians in controlling the intelligence airspace, if, if you will, so that they can network and do whatever they got to do. They'll do that, but uh, there will be no direct war between Russia and the United States. Uh, and if there is, I will eat everybody's hats. 
In only the second conversation between the two sides since Biden took office in January, the U.S. president warned the Russian leader to de-escalate tensions. Top Kremlin mouthpiece warns of inevitable war with U.S. over another Ukraine land grab. This is from Futurology. And let's see, the cyber attacks will not be in, ingenuitive. Wow, ingenuitive, huh? Let's look up the word ingenuitive. I mean, I want to see how that happens. Let's see, ingenuitive. Let's see. Inventive skill or imagination. I guess it's ingenious. Maybe that's another word for ingenious. Well, there you go. That's that's pretty cool. Learn a new word. There you go. And then uh, we have here unprecedented push footage shows front line of Ukrainian conflicts with Russia from CNN. And finally, bought by, well, this is a repeat. Biden calls on Putin to de-escalate tensions with Ukraine in phone conversation. 